DevOps Insights in Electric Flow provides visibility into metrics across your DevOps processes with out-of-the-box and customizable dashboards reporting on the metrics that matter to you. The DevOps Insights reporting framework runs on the standalone DevOps Insights server that is based on Elasticsearch and Logstash technologies, providing scalability and robustness in the reporting without impacting performance of the Electric Flow server and your critical DevOps processes. The system is designed with an extensible object model for customizable dashboards, and you can extend plugins to integrate with and pull data from the tools that you use. There are three out-of-the-box dashboards that help you visualize the health of deployments and releases at a glance, and you can extend and create your own customizable dashboards to report on the metrics that matter to you. Let's explore DevOps insights in Electric Flow. I'll start in the Release Command Center, which is a dashboard providing a bird's eye view of a release across all of its phases. This is not only showing data in electric flow, but pulling key metrics from the different tools that are used across your release through new plugin integrations. There are so many tools that are involved in the overall progress of a release that it has become more important than ever to get insight into release status and health with one consistent view for the entire organization. The dashboard provides a high level view of where you are in your release cycle, showing where you are in your release plan, how many days you have till delivery, and then goes into detail into each of the phases of the release, starting on the left with planning, where you're pulling metrics on user stories from tools such as Jira to groom the backlog, target stories, and tasks. And then going right, we continue to see key data on the different phases, dev, build, test, deploy, and operate, indicating the current data, whether it's trending up or down, and pulling metrics through integrations from the tools that are part of each phase, such as Jenkins, HPALM, and ServiceNow. The integrations with these tools automatically collect and connect the dots between the key KPIs across your release, meaning you don't have to do manual scraping of the data and pull it together. It's all done for you automatically. The extensible plugin and reporting framework can be extended further to pull in metrics from any tool in your process and bring that data into the release command center. These metrics are combined with the electric flow release data to provide full visibility across your entire process and create that one place to go to visualize your entire release. There are two other dashboards that are included out of the box. The first is the releases dashboard which shows key metrics across releases that can be used to get insight into your organization's throughput and bubble up any potential bottlenecks in your release delivery pipeline so that they can be addressed quickly. Metrics like longest running tasks in a release and percent of automation in releases help hone in on bottlenecks, while total release duration and numbers of releases per month highlight the release throughput. The other dashboard is deployments, which provides indicators to measure agility of development and reliability of your deployments, such as deployment success rates, uh, deployment durations, and throughput over time. In addition to the out-of-the-box dashboards, it is easy to create your own new dashboards, add new widgets, and make changes to existing dashboards in order to collect and display the metrics that are important to your organization. I can create a new dashboard by clicking on the icon at the top right in this case, I'll copy my existing deployments dashboard and now I've created a new dashboard at which I, where I'm currently in edit mode. In edit mode, I can change the layout by moving around the widgets. I can also edit the data that's displayed or how it's displayed in an existing widget. And I can add a new widget that displays the data with the metrics that matter to me. There's also a DSL editor available where I can make the same changes to the groovy based DSL representation of my dashboard to quickly make changes and apply them to the dashboard. Thanks for watching. Visit electriccloud.com to learn more.